Hello, Unbrick me here with a look at the Kai's Clan Start Pack Robotics Kit. I gotta say that after experiencing Kai's Clan, it is definitely one of the best robotics kits I have ever used. And before we get started, I would like to thank Kai's Clan for sending me this kit completely for free. Thank you very much to the generous people at Kai's Clan. In this awesome robotics kit, you do get four interactive robots, a play mat, a USB charging wire that splits into four so that way you can charge all four robots simultaneously, as well as some stickers and a sensors accessory pack. And the amount of stuff that you do get in the Kai's Clan starter pack is beyond incredible. Each of the four robots come with a little clamper, a pair of wheels independently driven by two motors, an ultrasonic sensor, a QR code sticker at the top for mat tracking, as well as a switch at the back with a charging port. The setup for Kai's Clan was just incredibly easy. All you had to do was download the Kai's Clan app onto your phone, then connect all four of the robots, which by the way is very easy. All you have to do is literally just switch them on, hold the phone near the robot, and in a matter of seconds, they will connect. Then, you gotta place your phone onto a tripod and calibrate the mat. After calibrating the mat, now essentially, the phone's camera tracks the robot on the mat. And this is an incredibly cool feature, since on your computer, you can see exactly where all of your robots are located on the mat. The team at Kai's Clan really did a fantastic job with developing the software. Since on my computer, I can literally just put in a set of coordinates onto Kai's Clan, tell the robot where to go into the mat, and it'll automatically pathfind to that location, which is an incredibly cool feature, which is pretty much the coolest thing I've ever seen in a robotics kit. Now let's run just some basic code from my computer and onto the Kai's Clan robot. So now, the robot will clamp and hold the tomato, then the robot will drive forwards, release the tomato, and go back. This is just meant to demonstrate sort of the very basic capabilities of Kai's clan. This is just incredibly fun to play with, a joy to play with. Now, the robots, the hardware itself, is kind of basic and not really customizable, what it really comes down to with Kai's clan is the software. The software has so much love put into it, I cannot even explain it. Here on the right hand side, as you can see, we have a live mat view with all of my robots on the mat. On the left hand side, we have the block selection so we can code in scratch based software. With Kai's Clan here on the right hand side, you do get the chat for your classroom so you can invite others and have them participate in your projects. And speaking of which, here I have two computers side by side. The one on the left is the host, while the one on the right is a student. Both of these are connected to completely separate networks, and the computer on the right is essentially a student, and the student can code my robots, send the commands, and the robots on my end will execute the commands. So essentially, you could be in Denmark while I'm in the United States, and you could be controlling my robot. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? I think that LEGO Mindstorms should definitely add a functionality like this. However, there was one guy by the name of Lawrence Valk who actually had a Wi-Fi experiment for his LEGO Mindstorms NXT set, which worked successfully. Theoretically, if you were on the International Space Station, you could control Lawrence Valk's robot. That was very cool, and the same thing is for Kai's clan. I just want to say, if you're enjoying this video so far, then make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn all about LEGO Technic, like which pieces are the rarest, which pneumatics are the rarest, which electronics are the rarest, and much more. The knowledge to the most interesting aspects of LEGO Technic is just one click away. But, no pressure. No pressure. With Kai's Clan, you also do get a bunch of lesson plans over here, and if you press this over here, the code will convert from Scratch into Python. That is just the best thing ever if you want to learn some more advanced coding. One of the highlights of Kai's Clan is easily the virtual viewer. So first, we can pick out any 3D model over here and assign it to one of my robots. I have picked out a cat, and now if we look in the virtual viewer, the location of the cat is based on where the robot is on my mat. That is very cool. Now, if we run some basic code over here, essentially I have linked the height of the virtual cat to the distance 
that the ultrasonic sensor sees on the robot. So depending on the distance, the cat will be either higher or lower. But this is just scratching the surface. We can even do some virtual terrain building. And if we have the following code over here, essentially drawing the terrain in a square pattern, the robot on the mat will go in a square pattern, but on the virtual viewer, it'll draw some terrain in a square pattern. So it draws terrain based on the robot's location. This is just epic. This is definitely the best software I have ever seen in a robotics kit. Another great thing about Kai's Clan is that it actually does feature AI pathfinding. So if you run the following command, the following bot navigates to this location, it'll avoid virtual obstacles and it'll go to that specific location. Unfortunately though, you cannot open up the pathfinding block, so you cannot actually see what is happening behind the scenes, but it's still a very cool feature nonetheless, which I think a lot of people will just find fascinating. So what are the pros and cons of Kai's clan? Well, for the pros, you do get the incredible software, amazing integration with augmented reality, it's just an awesome playing experience. I cannot stop playing with Kai's Clan. It is definitely one of the best robotics kits I have ever used. Another big pro of Kai's Clan is being able to control your robots from the other side of the globe. And I definitely think that more robotics kits should definitely implement this feature into their own robotics kits. And finally, another big pro are the robots themselves. They look pretty great, they're versatile, they're easy to use, and they're just incredible. But what about the cons of Kai's clan? Well, I definitely wish that we got some sort of building system so that we could build our own robots out of Kai's clan, but you know, one of the restrictions obviously for the robots is that the QR code has to be on top of the robot at all times, but still customization would be nice nonetheless. I think that ultimately the advantage of Kai's clan is software. But the advantage of LEGO Mindstorms is the LEGO Technic building system out of which you can build gearboxes, have pneumatic systems, and so much more. It is an incredibly advanced building system, but on the other hand, Kai's Clan does have much more advanced software. In other words, I definitely think that you should try Kai's Clan. It is a wonderful robotics kit. It is beyond incredible, and this set just blew me away. If you enjoy robotics, then be sure to check out my walking humanoid robot out of LEGO Mindstorms called Beta Rex. This is your Unbrick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.